Ready? I need to make something for a thousand subscribers. Hmm. I guess I've got some time to think about it. There's no time. Okay, it's done. Now to print it. We'll print. All right, step one is done. Modern printers are pretty amazing. I think it turned out pretty well, and uh, the parts from DigiKey should be here tomorrow, so I will assemble this right now. The DigiKey order is here. Let's get this thing built. All right, now that one side of the board is soldered, if you hadn't noticed, I'm actually trying something new. This is a double-sided board. I've never done one before. What I'm going to do is use a different type of solder. It's a low-temp solder. Uh, it's with bismuth, and um, it will melt at a lower melting point. So I'll be able to put the LEDs on this side, put it in the toaster oven, and hopefully these components won't fall off. First time doing this, we'll see how it works. But first, before I populate 144 LEDs, I'm gonna program it, make sure it works. All right, got the Atmel ice hooked up to the debug port there. And that seems to work. Now we can connect this directly to the computer. We don't need the programmer anymore. Now since we don't have any LEDs or any way of indicating that it's working right now, we'll just run the standard Hello World program and see if it responds. And we have it. It's working. Time to put on all those LEDs. Can't wait, let's do it. Well, that was painful. So just one more reflow. Solder all those 146 LEDs I just put on there. Hopefully all the other components don't fall off the bottom. And uh, yeah, let's see if this works. There it goes. And there it is, 144 LEDs, it turned out perfect, didn't even have to fix anything with my soldering iron, that's unbelievable. And they all work, perfectly. Now all I have to do is write a quick program to print some stuff on this, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that should be done. So I just wrote a program that's going to write a bunch of different things on this, but it's going to display the live subscriber count of my channel on this little LED display here. So it should work now. Let's run it. What? 1286. Oh well. I tried. Now it actually took me a couple of days to display the live subscriber count to my YouTube channel on this display. The reason for this is because I'm using an ESP8266 Wi-Fi controller 
and the Arduino talks to the Wi-Fi controller using AT commands. It's a very simple command set, really easy to use. But the problem is, it can't connect to secure servers, so HTTPS servers. And that's what the YouTube API uses. The YouTube API has all the information for your YouTube channel. It's how you can display different types of statistics and things like that. In order to get this to work, I had to be a little bit clever and I programmed my Raspberry Pi with a Python program that can access the API. Then it takes the number, sends it over uh, Wi-Fi to the ASP8266 and updates the number that way. I'd just like to thank my now first thousand plus subscribers. It's awesome. They say the first thousand is the hardest, so hopefully that's true. Only 9,000 more to go till the next milestone. This project is for you, and like all of my projects, they're going to be released. It's open source. You can get all the files, the code. I'll put together something so you can build your own. And I'm also going to be keep an eye out on my Twitter and Patreon page, because I'm going to be giving away a number of these, a few of these circuit boards, because PCBOA sent me 10 instead of 5, and I was planning on doing this anyways, but I just have extras now. Anyways, only 9,000 more to go, everyone. First thousand, be good, have a good night.